Monty's obviously been at the club for several seasons after arriving from Sheffield United and his resume in the UK uh, is second to none, playing uh, over 300, I think I'm right in saying, uh, English Premier League matches against the best of the best. There's photos going around of him uh, up against Cristiano Ronaldo at Manchester United. And he joins us now on Zoom. Monty, uh, you've got the Mariners polo shirt on. I know you take great pride in this club. Uh, just tell us what it feels like to be announced the new head coach of the Central Coast Mariners. Well, to be announced the head coach of the Mariners is a, is a really proud moment for not only me, but for my family, for my wife that supported me. And look, it's been my ambition since I you know, retired from playing. One day, take the reins of the Mariners, and I've worked really hard. Um, you know, I enjoyed working with Stadion and as we were here previously. But for me, it's you know, I'm humbled, and and I'm just really, really happy and excited to to, to be involved. Monty, you almost uh, sound a little bit emotional. Uh, how important has this club uh, become in your life since you arrived from the UK? Yeah, look, I've been here for nine years now. Uh, my family have, have grown up on the Central Coast. Um, I've made a lot of fantastic relationships on the course with with the supporters with the community with the players that are at the club and the staff so you know it's been a, it's been a journey that i've thoroughly enjoyed you know, i've had success as a player here in 2012-13 and i've seen the club struggle and i've seen you know the highs and the lows and i think that experience has, has really you know put me in a great position now to take the club forward we just heard Kai Rolls. I asked him uh, where he would like to see the club in 21-22. Uh, he mentioned the finals and going on to win the whole thing. What's your ambition for the Mariners moving forward? Well, look, exactly what Kai Rolls just said then. I think last season, you know, like I said, I'd like to commend Stadge Naz and, and all the players in the club for what they achieved last season. I think the platform, you know, we have to build on. You know, the academy is something that I'm really proud to have of works we can very hard over the last couple of years to restructure and, and put in a, a conveyor belt of talent of which we've already seen this season. So on what Kai Rule said there, you know, for me that's 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 what I want to do. I know that you know the club is going to work very, very hard uh, in this off season to make sure we, we add a few additions to what is already a fantastic core group of players. And we've got some really exciting young players coming through who you know have had a unique um, you know journey with them either bring them into the club or, or spending the last two years coaching and mentoring them. So, you know, it's been proud to see them push into the first team this season and, and be given the opportunity and I don't think they'll let anybody down. It's only a short pre-season as well, Monty, because uh, FFA Cup isn't that far away. We wish you all the best with your new role. Congratulations uh, and look forward to having you uh, as the head coach of the Central Coast Mariners.